Okay, so in this video, I am doing the Minion Needle Felting Coaster. Uh, it's a time lapse, so uh, you will see the full process. Um, and here I am. I need something to watch while I do this. Um, so I'm. I was looking for something to view. So um, as I was doing this, the old phone that I was on the YouTube. Uh, I was going off of YouTube on my old phone and it kept booting me out, so I had to go figure out what was going on there. Um, and now, as you can see, I'm filling it out and adding more felt or wool to it and everything. So, there's that. So, as you can see, I am flattening out the wool by repeatedly stabbing it with a needle felting needle. So... And you can see I'm wearing the pleather little gloves so that I don't poke myself. <laughs> um, and I'm just adding more. Now, as I'm doing this, I'm like, I wonder if you could do this with stuffing. Um, not that I would need to because I have a plenty of materials. I don't need to resort to stuffing yet. But it's just something I was curious about. So, yeah. Uh, as you can see, I'm just filling it up. And so now I'm finding something else to listen to while I work on this. All right, figure it out. Okay. All right, now I've got it. Okay, so I have, I'm just filling up this little coaster, though I did go a little overboard. It may have been, I want it to be thicker, but it's more puck-like than the rest. So... Um, I don't know if the, that, that, you know, that's a beginner error, um, I'll admit, and everything, so, there's that. Any, um, professional needle felters, can you just tell me what things I did right and wrong so I can learn in a nice way, <laughs> in the comments and everything. So, here I am adding the yellow part, and I needed a dinner, I had to break for dinner there. I uh, didn't realize I was recording at that point, but whatever. Um, so, there's that. That's a meal from Boston Pizza. It was a, you know, leftovers. Um, but anyway, here I am just finishing up this. Now, I debated if I was going to do half yellow, half blue uh, for the character thing. Um, I just got a notification on my phone. So, if it went, mm -mm, uh, and you heard that on camera, that's what it was. Um, but anyway, I decided to ins do one layer of yellow and then put the, um, jeans on top or whatever, or the blue color that's supposed to be the jeans on top of that. That way, um, I had one extra layer so it wasn't, so it didn't end up, you know, showing any white spaces. So, there's that. Um, but, and I didn't know how far down I would need to put the yellow so that I could do the little straps as well. So that's why I filled it up, um, filled up all the yellow spots. Um, so, even though I was going to cover them later. So, this one's super thick. And uh, you need a certain kind of cup on it for it to actually work. Um, so, not just any cup would work. Um, so... There's that, um, but here I am making a little pocket for the minion and everything. So I learned from doing Perry to correct the way I made the eye because with Perry I put the black outline around the white circle and this time I just made a black circle then put the white on top of that and just like layered it up. So that turned out I think better than when I did the Perry um coaster um so that's something i did learn from my mistakes so and i feel like it worked out better doing like a thin layer of black and then putting the white circle inside and kind of layering it up um now it is a little bit it's not fully flat so <laughs> at the end result it was not fully flat um but anyway there's that i'm almost done with the uh time lapse i think and then you're going to get the extended version of me touching this up in real time in 3, 2, 1. Alright, so here is my minion. 
my little guy here. Um, I decided not to do Gru's logo in the uh, patch on the uh, jeans and um, I didn't add little hairs because I didn't think it needed it. And I know that the goggles that they wear are silver, but the gray that I have is a different kind of felt. And uh, I wanted to just keep with the same or same type of wool or whatever for this. So it's quite thick and everything. So we're going to try and take it off on camera. So, oopsie. Yeah. Okay, so. Get up close here. Oh, well, it's like a puck. Man, oh man. See? Nice. Now I didn't take pictures of versions of this because I was filming a time lapse at the same time. So <laughs> you'll have to watch the time lapse in order to see the progression of this from beginning to end. So there's that. Now I should probably cut the backing off. Trim up that. I don't think much needs to be done on the front here. Because I, I made sure it went down, like, spent quite a bit of time on it. I, I had to take a break for, uh, to eat, but otherwise, how do you like my little minion one? Now I'm going to go and cut off the excess. <clears throat> And I'm going to put my needle away right away so I don't, so it doesn't, you know, fall and stab me. For some reason this liked to come off, this kept coming, uh, the little needle kept coming out. Don't know if it was the angle I was holding the tool at or that I've just used this tool so much that I've worn down certain areas of it and so it's not as sticky <clears throat> as it once was. Okay, let's take this and we'll take this for the trimmy for me, McGee. <clears throat> Man, I need a water. My water. Time for my scissors to do their job and cut little baby hairs. Let's take this guy out. Trimmy trim. Trim, 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 trim it, trim it down. Trim, 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 trim you down.
it's time for my fabric diffuser to do its job. Let's start with the back. Start with the mat. Noise warning, sorry. What time is it now? Seven o'clock. funny I thought I was going to do an easy one today and then I went to a minion and yeah that one takes a took a little longer than I thought it would all right Now that's the end of my needle felting for the next few days, so hope you enjoyed it. One, because I, I need to take a break to rest my arms, and two, uh, because I'll be going to uh, my mom's house. Yes, I know I could live on my own, but uh, living on your own is expensive. That was the little pad from the last, uh, from the first thing I did, so. Hope you enjoyed this video make sure to like comment subscribe and follow depending on what site you're seeing this on and uh yeah i hope you have a fantastic day thank you for watching